So, I mean, we can just go through it. Like, do we think Bwipo or Impact is stronger right now? I think Impact always does well in playoffs. I think that he is more reliable in terms of his champion picks. And the because, poor opposites. <laughs> yeah, he's just picking what's good, and Bwipo's yes. trying to, like, counter. And also, Bwipo, throughout the end of the season and throughout the playoffs, has thrown in late-game macro oh, sure. situations. He's been yes. in the wrong place. We wouldn't really say that about Impact. So I no, take no, Impact no. over Bwipo right now. I and take- also, I'll tell you this, people always do this thing that really tilts me. This is where they take narratives, but they don't actually like expand the narrative. You know, the narrative of impact is this, Monty. It's like, well, he just plays a tank. No, he does that internationally because he's smart enough to know he isn't Smeb. If you ever watch LCS, he always, in every series, dude, usually has like one carry game. He'll have like one where he'll either yep. pick like a matchup the opponent doesn't expect, or he'll just straight carry. Back in the day, it would be like Aatrox or something. He would just have like a carry game on that shit. And so... You can't, that's the other thing. He is mega reliable, probably the most reliable top laner like ever to play, maybe in any region. And then on top of it, he actually has some diversity to his pool. Like yep. in the LCS, he isn't going to be afraid like he is against like the LPL team or something, you know? I mean, he played Rise mid in the last there series. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. True. <laughs> uh, I mean, we've seen him play Kennen. Uh, we grave so far in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, we know he can play Gangplank. So. I think he's got a big enough champion bull and he just has to do his job here. You know, it's really up to Danny to carry, to carry these games yes. and that's the way or closer or sorry, not closer. Um, um, uh, uh, Danny or Jojo because oh, Jojo. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Cause Jojo has been doing a better job as playoffs have gone on even, and he's been, you know, very good on coming. He's pretty good in the games. Also, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think if you take, if you take, E.G. and we we like I said we compare them. So I would take Impact over Whippo. I would take Inspired over Santorin right now. I think it's a huge problem for Team Liquid that they have to ban Lee Sin in the first three bans on both yes. sides, both red and blue side. That just shows that Santorin's not confident in his early game mechanics, which then pushes him over to Jarvan or Volibear if they want to play early game junglers. However, when Team Liquid, do you does remember? Up- I have to bring this up. Do you do you remember that moment? <laughs> on Summon and Insight well, when Loco came back to the show and we had that first episode again where he was back and then he immediately just dropped that mental line where he said that when Santorin was his jungler remember I asked him because he kept saying Santorin had amazing mechanics do you remember this story and I was like okay Loco when you say that though you've got to quantify it and I was like if one is like the worst mechanics and ten this is not a joke fans I said if ten is faker's mechanics what is Santorin and because it's loco he said he is a 9.5 out of 10 remember I've even put a fucking mid lane and you're a jungle like I just love loco all, all I want everyone to know is I just love loco I just want to get put that out in the world again I actually miss him because the thing I've realised about loco is in the moment yeah you're annoyed at whatever stupid thing he said but you actually need someone to say shit like that like essentially I play that on podcasts that people don't realize but here's a funny though because it's all so unintentionally hilarious <laughs> they're so good aren't they well i would rate santorin's current mechanics as like a four definitely not ten. a nine <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> I, yes. I, I, look, I, look if you watch playoffs around the world you know that Lee Sin is like first pick blue side in lpl right now it's an extremely high priority pick if you have to ban the Lee Sin every fucking match in your first three bands it is a giant weakness uh, and also, if you noticed, in the fifth game against 100 Thieves, Team Liquid also banned the Jarvan in their first in their first round of bans. So if you're ba- having to ban two the you know two junglers that early to get Volibear and for you know, they, in that game they forced I say forced because Closer is historically a very good Viego player, uh, you know got Closer onto Viego. That's just a that's a huge problem. Um, so I don't really have a lot of confidence in Santorin right now. So this is all to say I would take Inspired over him. Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.